This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hello again, everybody. I'm Maggie Skura. Welcome back to Comcast Newsmakers, and we're coming to you from the Eastside Union High School District board room, and we're in San Jose. And uh, lots of things happen in this room regarding the high school kids and the futures here in San Jose. But today we're talking to members of our community, and I'd like to introduce you to one of them. He's Russell Hayden, and uh, Russell is the CEO of uh, something called an organization called Firefighters ABCs. Welcome, and first of all, tell us a little bit about your background. I know that you've been in the fire services for many years, and we're trying to remember how we've met each other over the years. <laughs> yeah, I began my career in 1969 with Los Altos Fire Department as a student firefighter, and then in 1975, I went to the city of San Jose Fire Department and spent my last 29 years there. And after leaving the fire service, I was in the private sector for three years as a fire and environmental manager. Okay, so you're retired from the active fire yes. service duty. Yes. So I know we have, you know, there's a method to our madness here as, as usual, but tell us a little bit just about the fire services and you know, what a truly great career this is for it's, guys and gals everywhere. It's truly one of the best careers a person can have and the fire service of course today is always looking for people from diverse backgrounds, especially including young women. Uh, there's a very much of a need for young women coming to the fire service. Great retirement, great benefits, um, great people to work with, and uh, a job that everyone would enjoy. It is great. I, and I, I shared with you that you're among the favorite group for uh, people in the news business to deal with uh, anybody in any of the fire services. You, there's just, just something special in you that I think brings you to this career and uh, it, everybody sees it. So you retired from that and then you went on to found Firefighters ABCs. What is that all about? Yes, we founded Firefighters ABCs in an effort to increase diversity within the fire service. Um, with the demographics changing in the, not only California, the Bay Area and throughout the United States, we're trying to encourage more people of color, women, people who speak different languages and bring different skill sets into the fire service. And thus we founded Firefighters ABCs. And then a part of that is the Firefighter Diversity Recruitment Council, and we have fire departments that are members from throughout the nation that are also a part of our organization. So this is something that takes up how much of your, of your life now? You're supposed to be relaxing <laughs> after your many years of service. Yes, yes. It's, it's a full-time thing doing this, but it's something that I very much enjoy. And um, yes, it's, it's just a continuation of the fire service for me. Well, it doesn't seem like uh, this would be a hard sell to people of any background. So your mission is to uh, just get the message out. Yes, the, but the goal is, is to encourage kids as young as ninth grade and, and, and post high school, college. And uh, it's, it's a career that you have to start early thinking about. And we want to make sure that they hone their lives so that they don't do anything that's going to prevent them from coming in, like felonies, drugs, and things like that at an early age. And to become a firefighter and to be at the top of the list, we want to encourage them to get things like their EMT program taken care of, mm -hmm. paramedic license. So it's a long and hard uh, task to become a firefighter. So we want to encourage people at a young age. Well, that's, that's a, a great point because somebody may be at college level now seeing this and thinking, oh, what do I have to do? Do I just go in and apply? So you're saying that you know, e before you get anywhere near application process, you should be thinking in this direction. Correct. And if you're to, uh, two-year or four-year college taking what kinds of classes? Yeah, you can take fire science classes. Um, uh, for a lot of departments, you have to be a paramedic to get hired, so we encourage folks to go to yeah, paramedic school. Mm -hmm. As an example, on March 20th, we're having a workshop at the Hayes Mansion in San Jose. It's a full eight-hour workshop, mm -hmm. giving people all the fundamentals that they will need to, to get into the fire service. So there's a lot of things you need to do on the front end. Okay, March 20th at the Hayes Mansion, an all-day workshop, and also March 18th and 19th, something else coming up. And that's called the Firefighter Diversity Recruitment Council Conference. That's for fire departments and their HR arms, fire chiefs, and people like that uh, to talk about diversity within the fire service, and this will be the third year we've had this conference. Okay, so for more information, especially about that workshop on the 20th, please go to the website we've been uh, showing you. It's Firefighters ABC's Russell Hayden. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, too. We'll be back.